Mitchell and Brian, they're on their way here. They're stuck in traffic, so they're going to join us live on FaceTime. Welcome, Rachel, and welcome, Brian. Congratulations, you guys. Hey. Hi. Thank you so much. And Rachel, you're, you're waving at us. Show us the ring. Show us the ring. Oh, oh. There you go. See it. <laughs> Brian, you step. Whoa. Great, great, great job. I did job. good. I did good. You did very, you did very well. And, and Brian, you got the first impression, Rose, and you got the first yes. kiss as well. So did you expect to be with Rachel at this point right now? You knew this was going to happen? Uh, well, when I got that first impression, uh, Rose, you know, I, I was feeling very confident moving forward and, you know, there really wasn't any issue moving forward in our relationship. So, you know, my confidence remained sky high throughout and, you know, I didn't have any reason to think otherwise. And, and Rachel, how about you? Were, you? were your confidence as high in Brian as he had his confidence in himself? <laughs> Brian has a lot of confidence. I mean, I was I was confident in our relationship, but I mean, you know, I went back and forth because um, I had to make the best decision for me, and I wanted to make sure I made the right decision, which obviously I did. And, and Rachel, you were in a very precarious situation yesterday with Peter. And what if Peter had proposed to you as well? Were you ready to face two proposals? Well, no. I mean, if you, you see the emotional breakup that Peter and I had and he was ready to propose but at that point I knew that he wasn't the one for me and it was really important for me to not have two men standing up there at the end if I knew what I was going to do then I wanted to send someone home there that person home the night before and this is a question for both of you but how, how tough was it to face Peter live last night I'm sure you probably hadn't seen him since your, your last um, encounter Oh, yeah, yeah. I hadn't seen Peter since what you saw last night. Um, it was more frustrating to see Peter than anything else. And you know, that was a frustrating breakup. That was, yeah, I'm sure it was. It. And was it hard for you, Brian? Was it hard for you to see Peter last night? And I know it's tough for you to watch the show and see Rachel on dates with other men when, when you know where your heart lies. Yeah, it's always tough to watch your fiance date 30 other men. Uh, but I actually didn't see it. I actually didn't, uh, I didn't meet with Peter last night, but, uh, you know, I saw the final episode. And, yeah, as a man, uh, you feel a little frustration of how, you know, she was treated and the position that she was put in for the simple fact that, you know, here I am, you know, totally committed, totally invested, totally ready to start. Uh, a real future with this woman and then on the other end you know you have someone who's indecisive uh wishy-washy and uh at the same time he's telling her that he's in love with her and will propose so you know it, it was just tough to watch well i tell you what you guys are in traffic we appreciate you checking in with us on facetime and we're gonna have more with you two coming up okay and everybody stay right there we have more with the new bachelorette couple rachel and brian is stuck in traffic They'll be here. so much. Have a seat, you too. Oh, you're, you know what? You can pick those up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. pick those up. I want you to hide those <laughs> because that's going to lead it. I talked to you a little bit while you're in the car on the way here. But we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to play a little game, our version of the um, newlywed game. But we're going to call it Couple Confidential. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 You know, we're going to see how much you, you two really know about each other. All right, this, all right. This point in your, good. In your relationships. So are you ready for the tough questions? We are. Yes. All right, here we go. All right, first question to Brian. What is Rachel's binge-watching guilty pleasure? Uh, any, show, any... Show us your card. There you go. What you got? Any housewife show, but I'm going to go with New York. Okay. Rachel? That's right. <laughs> I love the Real Housewives. Any, he, he knows any of them, so he picked New York. Here we go. Okay, Ray, Rachel, your turn. What is Bryant's secret talent? What is Brian's secret talent? I don't know. I don't, do you have one? Not really. I, I played soccer for 18 years, but... I, okay, dominoes. Oh, boy. I could play dominoes. Domino but... champ? That's a lot of pressure. What, what do you have, man? Uh, I would say maybe juggle soccer ball. Okay. That's pretty good. Turn it up. Let's see. Soccer trick. <laughs> You'll have to show me. I'll show you. You're one for one. This is the tiebreaker. The final question is the tiebreaker. Brian, 
Who is Rachel's celebrity crush? Which one? <laughs> uh, she, I would say she talks about Justin Bieber a lot, so. Hey, there you go. Justin Bieber. <laughs> Rachel? <laughs> I gotta say, that would surprise me. That right? would surprise me, surprise a, me a, a little bit. And, and I'll tell you what, you had a lot of interesting um, guys on this, this, uh, this season of Bachelorette. Yeah. Who do you think is going to be the next Bachelor? Who would make a good Bachelor? I think we agree on this no. one. Who's that? We would say Alex. 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 Yeah. Why, why yeah. Alex? He's just a quirky, fun personality, a funky dresser. Uh, he has a really smart guy, really high IQ, and I just think he would make an interesting season. Yeah, America didn't see enough of him. Yeah. Alex America's, is great. And it didn't see enough of him, and I gotta say, you're the first African-American bachelorette, which was like groundbreaking. And how do, how do you think that, that kind of changed this franchise, if it has at all? I mean, it was a beautiful thing, I think, for people. You know, I, I came out and I said I was humbled and honored to be the first, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I think, it opened up the audience of, you know, who tuned into The Bachelorette. And I think people got to see me in a powerful position as an African-American woman. And then at the end of the day, see that my journey for love was no different than anyone else's. And so I, I hope everyone loved what they saw and they, you know, rally behind my journey for love. Well, I tell you what, a lot of people out there obviously were interested, a lot of people watched. And we're really happy that you guys found each other. We wish you the best. And uh, congratulations. Show that ring off one oh, more time yeah, to the I camera before we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. The back <laughs> Rachel and her fiance, Brian. Hey, thank you guys for coming in. We really appreciate it. No, it's tough for you. We'll be right back.